I am Teacher Dan, and today I am going to be your teacher for physical and health education. But before that, let us have first a short prayer. Miss Gloria, can you read our short prayer? Amen. Thank you, Gloria, for reading the prayer. Do you have absentees for today? None? That's great. I hope everyone is excited for today's lesson. Okay, let us have first a quick review. What was our topic last meeting? Hmm? Yes, last meeting we discussed the different folk dances here in the Philippines. And what are those folk dances? Yes, we have Cariñosa, Itik Itik, Nikling, and we also have Pandango as US, Sayo sa Banco, and Binasuan. Those are the folk dances here in the Philippines and many more. Now let us move on to our next topic. Are you ready? Okay. So I prepared here a quick game for you. And the title of this game is Guess as fast as you can. So here is the instruction. I am going to show you different pictures and you are going to guess what the picture is all about. Okay? You are going to describe what the picture is all about in less than 5 seconds. So are you ready? Okay, let's start. Here is the first picture. Yes, it is a running boy. Next. We have a boy throwing a ball. Next. Yes, very good. It's a boy kicking a soccer ball. Next. That's right. Children playing slide. We also have... Yes, it's a boy doing a crab walk. Next, we have... Yes, children doing... Stretching. Next. Yes, it's a girl playing dribble. And next, we have, what is it? Yes, it's children doing curl ups. And the last one we have, exactly, an old man walking. Very good. You're doing great, class. So the pictures being shown to you has something to do with our discussion for today. So as you can see, the picture shows different people executing different movements. So some are doing exercises, some are playing, and some are simply running and walking. And today we are going to tackle the definition and components of body movement its contribution to our daily living and why is it important for us to broaden our knowledge about body movements okay let's start first i want you to do any movement that moves your body from one place to another can you do that also i want you to do a movement without leaving your position or changing your place can you do that also? Now try to do it. That's it. What you did has something to do with body movement. So what comes to your mind when we hear words such body and movement? Yes, very good. In physical education, the concept of body movement includes body awareness and skills, the space in which the body moves, the effort and quality of body movements and the relationship among body parts, individuals, groups, and objects. So in simple words, body movements is about moving our body, right? From the simplest form of body movement to complex execution of movements, the fundamental body movements are necessary to perform an activity. So anything that we do requires a command of simple fundamental movement. Understood? Okay, now let us have the three components of body movements. We have first, the locomotor movement, the non-locomotor movement, and the manipulative movements. So we are going to discuss the three components of body movements. Let us start with locomotor movement. So when we say locomotor movement, this refers to body movement that moves our body from one place to another. Okay? So this movement causes our body to travel, just like what you did a while ago, right? You did walk. 
and that causes you to move from one place to another and that is locomotor movement so we have another example who can give me another example yes that's right running is also a kind of locomotor movement because when you run when we run we move our body from one place to another that is very good and that is locomotor movement Locomotor movements are categorized as either uneven or even movements, where even movements consist movements that has equal and unvarying actions. An example of these are we have walking, running, jumping, hopping, and leaping. While uneven movements are we have skipping, galloping, and sliding. So those are the eight common locomotor movements. Now let us move on to non-locomotor movements. So when we say non-locomotor movements, what is this? Yes, very good. This is the opposite of locomotor movement. Okay, so for non-locomotor movement, these are movements of a certain body part or even a whole body without causing the body to travel. Since this is the opposite of locomotor movement, this is also called actual movement okay so in this movement we are just staying in one place okay we are staying in one place while using the available space in any direction to make a movement clear so we have different non-locomotor movements we have many non-locomotor movements an example of this is bending so when I bend like this that is non-locomotor movement. Why? Because I simply moved a certain body part, but did not move from one place to another. Okay? That is non-locomotor movement. We also have stretching. That is also non-locomotor movement. Because I just simply move my hands, stretch, stretch my hands, but didn't move from one place to another. Aside from stretching and bending for non-locomotor movements, we also have shaking, raising, lifting, flexing, turning, rotating, swinging, and many more. That is non-locomotor movement. So as you notice, non-locomotor movements are often combined with locomotor movements. How? An example of that is walking while swinging your arms, right? So that is an example of combination of non-locomotor and locomotor movement. So let us move on to our third component of body movement. We have the manipulative movement. So when we say mani manipulative movement, what do you think it is? So manipulative movement refers to motor skill involving an object. How? It is a skill that uses hands and feet make something move or to manipulate an object so these skills are mainly involved in physical activities that uses hand and body coordination to execute a task the best example of this is throwing a ball so if I throw this ball and use this skill that is manipulative movement another example we have striking if I strike using this rocket, that is manipulative movement since I did use an object to do a certain movement. Can you give me more examples of manipulative movement? Yes, we have toss. We also have kick. We also have dribble hands and dribble feet. Volley. Throw and catch and strike yes and many more so those are examples of manip manipulative movements so do you have questions is it all clear none okay good so why do you think body movement is important hmm. why do you think okay so body movement has a significant role in our lives as human beings. 
body movement is a fundamental aspect of life. Remember that it is not just about exercises or playing sports, but it matters in all things that we do. Okay? Without body movement, we cannot able to do what we want. And we cannot able to go where we want. That is how important body movement is. Understood? Is it all clear? Okay. Also, remember that movement affects everything. From circulation, to digestion, to metabolism, to immunity. With body movement, our body can function normally and regulate regularly. Okay? So always remember that it is very important to move our body regularly. Clear? Okay. So I prepared here a task for you to do. If you truly understand our lesson today, you must be able to do the task. So here is the task of the class. I am going to divide you into groups and each group will be given 5 minutes to do the task. And the task is, you are going to identify different body movements as many as you can. And the challenge is, each of you as members of your group will pick here and act it out for your group mates to guess. Okay? The better you act, the faster they can guess. Understood? Yes, are you excited? Okay, let's start the game. Before we end our lesson, let us have first a quick review. So what are the three components of band movements? Again, we have locomotor, non-locomotor, and manipulative movement. Very good. And what is this component that requires movement that moves our body from one place to another? That is locomotor movement. Very good. And if I dribble using my hand, what kind of movement is that? Manipulative movement. Exactly. And if I shake my hands but did not move into other place, what kind of movement is that? That is non-locomotive movement. Very good. So I think you are all set. Do you have questions and clarifications? None? That's it. Excellent class. Good to hear that you all understand the lesson we discussed today. I am grateful and happy that you learned something from me today. And I hope you keep it as we go to other lessons. So for your assignment and evaluation, kindly answer this one. Thank you for watching and listening for today. Again, I am your teacher April Dunn and see you tomorrow!